In today's video, we're going to define data science and think about a framework in order to understand the process of data science and how to go from data to information. And finally, we'll discuss how to think about learning data science. If you're into thinking about learning, this is the meta-learning of data science. Let's begin. Once upon a time, people used pens and paper and pencil in order to plot their data and find meaning in it. But as the technological revolution catalyzed a boom in information generation, we now struggle to make sense of data and to find the information hiding within it. So then, what do we do now? What do we do with one quintillion bytes of data? How do we find the information within that? Now, before we dive into how to solve this problem, we first better explain exactly what is data. Well, there's a framework that describes different types of human information. This is called the DIKW framework, or triangle. The D stands for data. And data, in this case, are disparate pieces of information that are disconnected from other things. We can think of financial data, scientific data, data about space or time. These data are then recordings or collections of events. This is how we can think about data. Now, these data usually aren't that helpful because, like I said, they're disconnected from most other things. Instead, what we want to do is to make connections to these data. We want to identify how some of these data fit with other types of data. And when we do this, when we make these connections, this is called information. Now, this is just one step up the information triangle. When we move from data into information, we can then start to extract meaning from these data. This information, though, is also not useful on its own. What we need to do is to make further connections with this information. And when we do this, this is where we now start to develop something we call knowledge. And knowledge is this connected pieces of information that when we can use, we put together in ways that are actionable. And we have now deep within our understanding, that's the final pinnacle of this triangle, is going to be wisdom. Now, how we move from knowledge to wisdom is a matter of deep philosophical debate. So we won't get into it here. But if we go back down to the bottom of the triangle, what we want to do is we want to ask the question, how do we go from data to information? And now this is exactly where data science comes in. Data science is the process by which we can take raw data, glean insight from it, and convert that into information. So we can then use that to make connections, to have actual knowledge and move on. All right, now let's get a little bit into the meta-learning about data science. The first step in any learning project is going to be to think about why do you want to do this project? Why do you want to dive into data science? Now, this answer is all on you. I don't have an answer for it, and everybody's answer will be different, but the motivation for what you want to do needs to be really, really clear. Otherwise, you're just not setting yourself up for success. Okay, so beyond why, next is what. What are you going to learn? Well, in data science, you're going to be learning different types of things. First, there are some concepts. You need to know the general concepts of data science, and these concepts are generally going to be related to computer programming. How to take complex data, march through a series of defined procedures in order to have an outcome, some computed outcome. Then you can link back to the data. The second is facts. Facts of data science are going to be specific things that you need to know in order to do data science. So what does this mean in this context? Well, there are some facts that come in the form of very specific commands and codes that you will need to use in order to transform data. So when we start out with some data and then we want to do something else to it and then something else and so on, the things that we need to do to it, those are the specific facts. Those are the pieces of information that you need to know in order to apply this to data to transform it into information. And three, procedures. These generally are going to be the procedures you will use to transform data into knowledge. In data science, this is generally a computer programming language. Knowing the specific commands of how you take your data 
and transform it into knowledge is going to be key. Generally in data science, this is going to be one of two programming languages, R or Python. Now, there's going to be a big debate on whether you should start with R or start with Python, and the merits and differences between these two and so on. But I will argue here that it doesn't really matter. What you need to do is find a language that resonates with you, that you're excited to learn, and that will allow you to carry out different skills. Now, if we take another analogy, let's take cooking. For example, it doesn't matter what technique you use to cook. In the end of the day, all that matters is how did the meal taste? Did you use this method or that method? Or what procedure did you use? Did you grill or sous vide? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you are making a meal, just like in data science. At the end of the day, you're taking data, you're transforming it into knowledge, and it doesn't matter what program or what language you use. In the big picture, what matters is you find a language that resonates with you, where you can start and dive right in. The third part of this meta-learning discussion is going to be how. How are you actually going to carry out this process? Well, like anybody beginning their journey, you probably don't know. So what you need to do then is look to see what people have done that are just a few steps ahead of you. How do other people learn data science? And I will say, there are generally a few different ways. First, you can take a course. This could be a university course. There's plenty of online courses. Several companies that are offering online tutorials you can use to pay that guide you through these steps. This guided process is sometimes a great place to start. However, just like many other learning processes, you don't want to get into a track and not reassess, is this the right track for me? If you start a course and you realize halfway through the course is going left and you want to go right, well, you should be confident enough to say, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to continue my journey by going this way and not that way. And the good thing about data science is there are plenty of tutorials. There are plenty of blog posts and plenty of resources on the internet, YouTube videos and so on, that will allow you to continue your data science journey. So there you have it. The three steps of meta-learning, asking why, asking what, and asking how. And with these in mind, with data science, you're now equipped to think about why you want to do this. What are the specific things that you need to learn and how you will go about learning this? See, data science isn't some magical unicorn that's going to come in and solve every single problem. All it is is quite simply some tools. Some tools that you can learn if you're motivated in order to take complex data and extract meaning from it. And there you have it. You are now equipped to begin your data science journey.